Well, good evening, Spirit and Truth Sanctuary. You are not uh, seeing an illusion. I am not LaDonna Diaz. <laughs> Uh, but I do have some friends with me tonight. Pastor LaDonna is here with me. Benny is here with me. And um, we, uh, at our house, we are undergoing the replacing of all of our pipes. Ooh, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Give me patience with all that. But So we're having to do the uh, service from the fellowship hall tonight. And I have me a new chair. I'm just spinning around in my chair. LaDonna, how do you, not, how do you keep from doing this on, on Tuesday mornings? I just... Spin around in my chair. All right, we're glad you're here tonight. Welcome to Spirit and Truth Sanctuary, where we know that spirituality is something we take seriously, but not ourselves too seriously. Uh, if you have your uh, devotional, let's turn in it to uh, January the 11th. We're in our Fully Awake uh, 365 devotional, and uh, glad that you guys are joining along with us. As is our custom, uh, we're going to go through devo through the devotion tonight, and then we'll jump in uh, to the teaching uh, that we have. The teaching tonight, wow, wow, wow. I'm just going to say in advance, eat what you can. It's a, it's a difficult teaching. All right. Uh, tonight's lesson is called The Divine Observer. The Divine Observer. Before we jump in, uh, let's grab our prayer of surrender together. Come on, let's read. Spirit of truth, carry me where you will. Bring to me what you will. Take from me what you will. Awaken in me what you will. The Christ man is around me, the Christ mind is in me, the Christ power flows through me, and the Christ mystery exists as me. I believe it, I perceive it, and now I receive it. I am surrendered, amen, and so it is, amen, amen. This is the month of January in our devotion. We are talking about letting go, and uh, again, uh, all the themes uh, in the month of January have something to do with uh, with letting go. Uh, as we begin our devotion tonight, this is this is probably one of the longest affirmations of all the 365 or 66 days, uh, but we're going to put it on the screen. If you'd like to read along with us, come on, let's join in tonight and read our affirmation together. I am not getting older. I am growing wiser. I am not broke. I am learning to be faithful over little as God is making me ruler over much. I am not lonely. I'm learning how to love myself. Mm -hmm. I have never failed at anything, but I have started over again many times with more wisdom. I am not a sinner or sinning. I'm only learning how to navigate my innate God-given divine creativity. Whew. And I can recreate my life anytime I desire a new existence. I am not my experiences. I am the divine observer of these experiences. That's uh, that's where we're going to jump in tonight, the divine observer of these experiences. So I'm going to offer to you a thought, and um, you'll read down about middle of the first paragraph that I don't believe everything I think, and I don't believe everything that I consider. I consider a lot of things. And so if this helps you tonight, great. Grab a hold of it, and then let it go, then, then, then hang on loosely. Hold on loosely, but don't let go, LaDonna. There you go. Um, but... If, if it does help you uh, to, to understand that we incarnate for a reason, then there certainly is, uh, it's gaining some attention, it's gaining some, um, some traction, it's finding uh, its way into uh, some so type of societal tipping point that many people are saying, I chose to come here. We have some scriptural references to that. Uh, Jeremiah, I before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. I ordained you. Jesus uh, chose in the fullness of time to incarnate. And then the Apostle Paul refers to being predestined, being pre-purposed, pre-designed for good works. And so it's not a bizarre uh, thought, and it's not something that's foreign even to the Christian or biblical Christian mind. And so I want to jump down uh, with all of that. I'm going to grab, I think, one one, a couple of sentences up top. Look at that first paragraph. It says, we choose to, uh, we choose to come here from a spiritual, dominion, uh, spiritual dimension to experience temporary situations and even painful difficulties for the evolution of our eternal spirits. Mm, that's an interesting idea, isn't it? Coming here for further evolution, if that word it doesn't sit right with you, for, for complete unfoldment for a further perfecting or awakening to our divine selves. All right, now, uh, with all that um, in mind, look down, if you will, at the second paragraph. Here it is. Here's, here's what to chew on. If this idea is true, then when bad things happen to us or even through us, we can step away from the event itself and look at it as the divine 
observer, meaning nothing is happening to me, but many things are happening through me and as me. Keep coming. In this context, the event happening to us is neither personal nor permanent. Interesting how many times we take things personally and perceive them as being permanent, neither personal nor permanent. It is designed to teach us, uh, teach us or help us learn uh, how to better navigate our divine creativity to manifest the reality we desire to experience. Here's the question. Can you step back from past experiences and see the learning without being overwhelmed by the pain? Try it. You might outgrow the pain. Here's a more, here's a more, um, difficult question to chew on. Can you step back from an experience, a painful experience while it's happening? Not a past experience. Can you, can you become the awareness in the middle of a difficult situation? That's, that's the question I'm asking for myself tonight. I'm still learning that. All right, let's grab our prayer at the end, and then we're going to jump into tonight's teaching. Come on, let's pray together. God, before time, I am not what happens to me. Today, I declare nothing has or is happening to me. All life is happening through me, for me, and as me. I'm here to observe, grow, evolve, and create. Amen. Amen. And so it is. All right. Uh, if, if you want to try to guess who wrote this tonight, how many of you would raise your hands and say, this is, this is you, D.E.? How many of you think I wrote this? Okay. How many would raise your hand and say, this is Pastor LaDonna wrote this? Benny voted twice. <laughs> If you guessed me, you guessed correctly. I think this was me, isn't it? Yeah, this is me. I think this is me, yeah. This is, I wrote this, and so if you guessed correctly, uh, you win nothing, absolutely nothing. Uh, We will look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. The devotion is on your own, and so go through January 12th tomorrow, which is uh, Pastor LaDonna's birthday. What, what? It's your birthday. It's your birthday. So uh, send her a little note if you'd like to. Pastor LaDonna's uh, 78th birthday is tomorrow. She looks great. She doesn't look a day over 58. (laughs) And then uh, we'll reconnect with you on Friday morning at 7 a.m. We always begin with a little fun. And I've got some movie trivia for you on Friday morning. Wake up in a high vibration with us. Looking forward to seeing you guys Friday morning uh, at 7 a.m. All right. We're glad you joined us for our Fully Awake devotional, getting notes. I got a text yesterday from Puerto Rico. Uh, communication from Prague, Czech Republic, Dallas, uh, Ma- Portland, Maine, St. Petersburg, Florida, just all over the nation joining us for this fully, uh, Philadelphia, uh, Pennsylvania. And so many people joining us for this, um, for this devotion. We certainly are glad that you're with us. All right. Well,